Space is Sims, and we are back with more of The Sims for Kindred Spirits, which is just our own thing that we're doing. <laughs> it's not a challenge, it's, not a, it's just our own creative shit. Um, so, I know normally, because we went with, uh, um, we saw Gail and Abigail and Lachlan last time we were with the Bowen family. Gail's here now, where we left him. Um, but I think when I started this week, I was like, did we say we were going to go to Orion next? Um, I knew he was going to be the next one we went to. And normally we would, would be back with Yuki, but I think we should go with Orion now. Because that's where we are. So too late, bitches. We on this train. Can't get off. So, um, Orion is, he's a bookworm. He's clumsy. He's squeamish. Uh, and he has the painter extraordinaire aspiration. We'll kind of get more into the painting thing and that in a later part. But uh, we came with Orion because he does have a very interesting backstory that ties into Gail's story a lot. And since we were hanging out with Gail last time and Gail came over here, it kind of seemed like a nice way to tie them both together instead of I could have given you a cliffhanger and been like, wait for it. But I'm going to share it with you now. Bubble blowers at the Spice Festival. Um, yeah, sure, let's go. Uh, even though you're here with Gail. So, Orion, um, actually met Gail when he was a child. Um, and Gail happened to be, at that time, dressed as a girl. It was the first time he went out dressed as a girl. Um, so, like, Orion had no idea. He just met Gail, you know? He met this little girl, Gail. And they became friends. Um, and, like, so they would kind of just meet at this location, like a little, like, down by the lake, you know, whatever. One of the lakes of Mount Komorebi. I haven't figured that one out because that <laughs> Mount Komorebi didn't exist. Um, you know, where are you going? Let's see what's happening. He's freaking out about something. Why don't we go... Oh, is that... Who is that? Wait. Okay, let's just go there to get... Like, go here together. I don't know what Lachlan's doing. Is he going to be that asshole? Hey, Yuki! Aww! Our boy's here. What are you wearing, Yuki? What the actual fuck are you wearing? You know what? I don't actually hate it. It's not the best outfit, but okay. Um, Sit and try together. Why is he having a panic? Like, he... I don't know what's going on. Anyway, so... So he, you know, was kind of just down there by the lake, whatever, met Gail, um, didn't know at the time that Gail was a boy, basically in drag. He just thought, you know, but it's the Festival of Lights! Oh, it goes to 1am, it's okay, we're gonna go there, um, when this situation is over. We'll go after the kind of story. Um, so, they had become friends and they would always kind of meet down by the lake and like hang out and talk. And Orion was always kind of like, he's clumsy and squeamish and he's a bookworm. He's a little shy kid, obviously, you know? Um, so one day, you know, he wanted to like play more with Gail. They were like little kids. And, but Gail would always be like, no, no, you can't come over my house or anything. We'll just meet here, whatever. So one day Orion actually followed Gail back to her house and he mistook Abigail, little Abigail, as Gail. Because, hi, Gail and Abigail are twins, and Gail dressed up like a girl, kind of looked like Abigail, so he thought Abigail was the girl that he met, right? So, he kind of saw her, and he started to talk to her. But their mother at the time, she wasn't dead, she was still alive, obviously, kind of chased him away, like, you get out of here, stay away from my daughter, like, whatever, because she was crazy very overprotective of her precious Abigail. So, like, Orion didn't know, you know, like, he's like, but we're friends, and okay, maybe that's why, like, I can't ever hang out with her, why we have to hide and just be hang out by the lake and I couldn't come over is because her mom is mean, like, whatever. So, so, then Gail didn't see Orion for a while because he was kind of like, okay, kind of avoided going down to the lake or whatever for a little while. And then one day, 
Gail and Abigail were both kind of in town with their mother. Gail just tagged along. Like, again, they kind of treated him like a servant. We kind of know this. So he was just kind of there. So they, like, but of course Gail was dressed like a boy. Abigail was dressed like a girl. And so he sees them. So Orion kind of realized at that point that Gail was the little girl he met. Like, he kind of recognized the difference at that point. Um, and was like, wait a minute. Uh, it, it's important to note that I, the one thing I forgot to mention is through this time with them hanging out and becoming friends, they were kids, but Orion had a little bit of a kid crush on his friend, Gail, who he thought was a girl. Right. So he was kind of acting awkward um, when they kind of met in town. So Gail kind of thought it was because of like the way the mother had treated him and it's really more because orion realized gail was this personality like the person that he met um so gail was kind of also mad at orion at the time because he because he knew like you thought i was my sister and you know, he'd already, the, the animosity toward his sister had started growing at that point because his sister was getting all the attention. And Orion was the only one who gave him attention, you know, um, really. Okay, like, oh, is he, he's going to be that person? Okay, can we just go to the Festival of Lights? I'm going to end this early because Lachlan is being that fucking person and I'm going to lose my shit. Like, he's being, let's just go to the Festival of Light because that's more important. No, we're not going to take Lachlan with us if he's going to be that person. I'm out of here. Um, so, yeah. So, like, Gail and Orion. Gail, Orion was the only person that treated Gail like a normal human being and talked to him like a normal person. So, when he was, like, in his mind, he's like, you thought I was my sister and you liked her. And now you're acting weird because I'm here. And then he kind of, like, snapped at him. Like, he yelled at Orion, leave them alone. Like, whatever. Um, Like, when he saw them in town, you know. So, he was like kind of mad at Orion. He kind of felt like Orion abandoned him, you know, and he, cause he thought Orion only liked him cause he thought he was his sister. You know what I mean? So he got it in this kind of deluded kid head that like the only reason, Oh, you like my sister. You don't like me. You only like quote unquote me because you thought I was Abigail and like, what the fuck, you know what I mean? So like, again, it's all of the issues that he's ever had as a, child and growing up so um and like orion had seen like abigail in town but avoided her because of the mother's threats and everything and she seemed kind of different to the girl he'd spent time with and, but and, and again that's kind of where he started he's like she doesn't seem like the same person and that's kind of when he realized you know because he's shy he's awkward like he was kind of like just watching them and that's when he realized like that kind of Gail was the person that he knew. Where is the Festival of Lights? It's over here. Oh, look at that. And then we put... Oh, look at all the pretty lights on the river. I love it. Ooh, there they are. Cute. And everyone's here. Like, go here. Wait, how do I change into my festival wear? Do I have to buy, like, a festival thing? Purchase food and drinks. Purchase a festival kimono. But if he does that, is it going to ruin his current outfit? I mean, I think I can just change him uh, dresser, change outfit. Because his other everyday outfit, we'll go into cast and show him. So there you go. You're in your festival. This is your festival wear. Oh, I love this. And everybody's in their kimonos. It's so cute. I love it. <gasps> oh, the festival one. Oh, wait, the festival one is different. We'll make... Oh, my God. We need to... Yuki needs to be here. Son of a bitch. It's all right. I kind of want... But he's wearing his own. But that, that is a different one. It is special. <gasps> like, cute! Anyway, um... Oh, she's going to be that person. I, I really need to take out slice of life because we can't go anywhere you can't go anywhere without this fucking bullshit happening 
<laughs> and then everybody just stands there and watches her and nobody does anything. Like, I have to take out Slice of Life. I, I have to. It's... I don't know what m- part of the mod that's in, but it's, I can't stand it anymore. It's ruining the whole mod for me. It's like, they just show up and they just do this and that's all they do. Like, oh my god. Cyrus, what are you doing? This is so cool. He's just, like, I mean, I know he's fire dancing, but like, <gasps> oh, I love the poster. I love it. Yama Jonathan. That's so cute. I want that in my house. <laughs> like, <laughs> Can you like, oh, come make a wish on this tree? Oh my god, I love it. Anyway, so, yeah. So, uh, he knows Gail's secret, so he kind of knows that Gail dresses as a woman. And I feel like a lot of people do, but like, you know, whatever. Um, oh. So, but here's the thing. So, he knows Gail's secret. He knows that Gail was that girl that he met. Gail doesn't know that because they haven't talked since then. Um, and the thing is that Gail doesn't realize is that kind of Orion had a crush on that girl that he met. And again, we know that Gail is now pissed because he's like, oh, you just think I'm my sister. And when you find out that it was me, then you're going to hate me. You know what I mean? And that's kind of why Gail is kind of always snarky and mean to Orion and kind of pushed him away and everything. But Orion, like, had a little crush on Gail. And it stayed, even though he knows that Gail wasn't a girl, it was just a boy in drag, and he doesn't care. Like, but again, oh my god, she's okay anyway, so like, whatever. But, you know, that was there. And so... Orion just has this deep love for Gale, even though Gale is kind of just mean and horrible to him, <laughs> like, because of all of that. So he's just grown up always being in love with him, so. That's so cute. Um, and actually, let's go in. I don't know why I just did that. Why don't we just go, like... So Command Center Modifying Cast will show you. So Orion is our lovely... He's our lovely little, like, dear boy Ayakashi. You'll see him in his name. So. He also, and I think I pointed this out in one of the other ones, he runs basically a bookstore cafe in town. Obviously, can't really actually do that. So, but the building that I put down, that's the bar. That cafe bookstore, like, cafe library bookstore kind of thing that's there, that's kind of his. So, like, people come in and they get coffee. There's books there. They can borrow them. They can just like read them there like whatever he kind of like so he kind of like runs that side of the building so that's just we just have to pretend that anyway so here's his normal elephant as you can see he's normally very dapper he dresses kind of like gets dressed up like his ties and his vests and everything like that um this is as casual as he gets <laughs> and we've seen his alpha number four because that's the one he's wearing um his formal wear we got his athletic outfit. You got his sleepwear. Yeah. He had his party wear. I love his party wear. It's beautiful. His swimwear. His his uh, hot weather. And his cold weather outfit. Um, And let's just like zoom in on his adorable little face. He's adorable. And yes, like he's got all of that. So that, um, he was supposed to be like, um, A space enthusiast, but since I had to get rid of my custom traits because of all the update, he's not that. But that was kind of why he has wear all the space thing. It was supposed to be one of his traits, and that'll come into play a little bit later. And here's his Ayakashi form, as you can see. He's our lovely little deer. <laughs> he's our deer boy. Um, so before he had a name, he was in my notes as Deer Boy. <laughs> because I didn't know what his name was. <laughs> he didn't have a name, I just knew. Um... But yeah, so. This is Ayakashi form. His lovely spirit form. He does have different outfits. And his horns are decorated with different colored flowers. You know, depending on his uh, outfit choices. And of course, because he's very, like, he's got, like, all the flowery rose tattoos. Again, it's just, I just kind of had to get. You had to get kind of creative. 
with their spirit oh. forms. Yeah. And he's yeah. very, like, nature-y. Even though he's very squeamish. It's very weird for, you know, our... Dear Ayakashi that he is. Whatever. <laughs> I didn't go too much into... I probably should have thought more about, like, okay, so, like, his type of... Like, Ayakashi is like this, and this would be their backstory, but I didn't do that. Sorry. <laughs> but anyway, it's kind of sad that, uh, Gale isn't here. Let's see if we can invite him. Let's, um, invite him to hang out. He's like, why don't you come down to the... Well, I'm, let's just pretend you didn't call him. Let's just say that, uh, you know... Who is this? Hope it comes true. Who knows? Maybe that little piece of paper is just what Orion needed to see their wish come true. Did Gale say he was coming? Okay, good. What you doing? Chat with Kaito. Okay. Kaito Kondo. It's <gasps> a long lost descendant. <laughs> um, me looking for Gale. Gale. Hello, Gale. Girl, where are you? Gale. Oh, there's Gale. Ask about day. Oh, never mind. I don't know where he's going. Um, we need to kind of get them. I, I want them to be friendly again, because that's the whole point, is like, now that we're here, and they've had that, like, their conversations... I want them to become friends again, and I want, like, them... They need to fall in love, like, that's the way they're supposed to be. Why is he taking a nap? So I think he sees Gale over here, and he's like, hey, let me come over and talk to him. So, can you... Maybe we'll have you kind of... Talk about overcoming insecurities. Why don't you talk to Gale... Um, could you actually go to where Gale is instead of doing that weirdness? Where the hell is he going? Why does he keep running away from me? Oh my god. Uh, and you actually, vampire-wise, um, he's a prime vampire. Some of them have different things, so he's got, like, medium kind of power. I gave him just some random... Where does Gale keep going? This bitch keeps running away from me. Like, Jesus, Gale, don't be an asshole. Express joy of life. The festival's gonna end in an hour. It's okay. So let's... Um... Gale! Gale! Girl. Gale is killing me. Can we, like... Um... I'm going to... More choices... Actions, add to group. Okay, can we come here together? Let's go here together. I want you to go over there with Gale because I want you to kind of have like a nice... I need you to have a nice touching moment. I love that. It's so cute. That's the uh, festival one. Stop talking to everyone. Just talk to Gale. It's all about Gale. Come on. Gale, you better come over here. Gail better get her ass over here. We shouldn't call Gail a her just because. No, 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 no. Go here together. Go here together. Gail, get over here. You're in my group. Gail. What the fuck, Gail? You're in our group. Why are you not over here? God damn it, you fucking bitch. Okay. Reset. Stop talking to Gail. I need Gail over here. Go here together. Gail! Jesus, motherfucking Christ. Goddamn other Sims getting in the way of my fucking shit. Now come here. Um, heartfelt compliment. No, 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 no! Don't! Fuck you! Come on! Jesus fucking Christ, I'm trying to have a nice moment, you sons of bitches. Like, fuck both of you. Like, seriously? Gail, you cannot be tired. You're a fucking vampire. 
<laughs> oh my fucking god. I wanted to have a beautiful moment Sorry. over here by the fucking like tree with the, and now the festival's over and the fest the, the lights were there and it was beautiful, but like you guys are fucking out. You know what? Fuck both of you. And fuck Gail disappearing like this constantly. Okay, like they were supposed to have a nice touching conversation. Like I wanted them to know that like I, I just wanted them to have it in a nice beautiful place. Like, hey, you know have a conversation about what happened. So that he could be like, listen. Like I knew it wasn't you. Like, I knew after the first time I saw you in town with your sister that you were the person that I met. You stopped showing up and you got mad at me, but... And then he's just gonna go in. He's just gonna go in and be like, listen, damn it! You know, because I feel like Gail would be bitchy. Like, oh, yeah, whatever. And then, like... He's like, I know who you are. Okay, bye. Never mind. Okay, that... Okay, let's just go home. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Their relationship. <laughs> but, you know, it was supposed to be at the Festival of Light with the beautiful lights in the background, but, like, Gail wouldn't behave and Orion wouldn't behave. You know what? Let's just... <sighs> this is their relationship. It's frustrating and aggravating, and it's just a pain in my ass. Um, But it works, because that's exactly how the relationship is. It's so tumultuous, right? Like... Orion just being like, but Gail, I fucking love you, and I've always loved you. And Gail just being like, yeah, sure, whatever. Oh, sweet fucking Jesus. Okay, and actually, can I order plasma packs? Because you're going to need them. Um, Vampire secrets, order plasma packs. It's fine. Okay. Why don't you resume that painting you were doing? I want you to resume. Resume. That really hurt from falling down. Look at that. <gasps> first kiss. It really was your first kiss. Not, you know, with Gail. Probably maybe ever. You know. Actually, like, maybe. I mean, who knows? Maybe they shared a kiss when they were kids. You know what I mean? Like, little kid's ah. first kiss. Um, But... You know, again, Gail's just been kind of holding on to this kind of resentment that. Can you? Oh, you're not flirty enough to paint a flirty painting. Oh, do not do this bullshit. I got to take fucking. I'm sorry. Like, like, it's kind of fun when kids do it sometimes, but then it's just it gets repetitive and annoying. And I just I really got to take slice of life out. I'm sorry. I love that mod, but it's starting to piss me off. It's sad because I really like when Sims invite you out to do things, but I hate this fucking bullshit where that's all they stand there and do constantly, 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 constantly. Oh my fucking God. I have to delete Sims left and right from doing this or like go home because I can't handle someone just doing it because they don't stop. Like you see this every time we go to a lot, there's someone <laughs> they never go away. And as soon as you get rid of that Sim, some other fucking Sim shows up and then your Sims don't do anything, but stand there and point in Latin. It's like, Oh my God. Yeah, good fucking Lord. But anyway, um, so yeah, that's part of Orion's story. It's obviously not. <laughs> I forgot for a brief second vampire not doing. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, vampires not having a reflection amuses the fuck out of me a lot of times. Like it really does. Um, but yeah, so he's, I'm I'm happy for him that he finally kind of told Gale, like, listen, I always loved you, God damn it, fucking kissed him. I'm glad that you got the mojo up to kiss Gale, to finally like tell him how you feel. Are you texting him? Were you texting him? It's beautiful. But yeah, he's adorable. I love you. You're so sweet. Um, and actually, what was I looking at? You don't really know anyone. You know Abel and you know Wesley. Well, honestly, that's because, to be fair, when I started this, Abel, Gail, Cyrus, Lachlan, Abigail, and Orion were the only Sims that we had. They were the original group and everybody else just got kind of added his eyelashes are beautiful like holy shit
I'm sorry. I just can't. Like, I just, sometimes I'm just proud of myself. I like oogling my sin. I like just staring at them. They're pretty. They're like little works of art. I love them all in different ways. But like, okay, when you keep doing that, it's like you're broken. But like, he's adorable. Like, look at him. He's so cute and sweet. She just want to pinch his cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> are you actually watching TV or are you glitched out? Um, what we should have you do probably is go travel to your bookstore, say. Uh, see if anyone's hanging out there. That'll give us something to do. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so, I mean, we've been to this lot before, but, like. Who's down here selling stuff? Megumi. Let's visit the bar. We're just going to go by ourselves. We'll just have you go over there. We got to have you change your outfit. Um, This is your place of employment. This is where you work. Again, I mean, I don't know where I was like, yeah, he runs the cafe bookstore. <laughs> Who's McGraw? So, you know, it's a cat cafe. So, I mean, we've seen this. This was the whole building and everything outside. The building was done and like this. But I just kind of did the interior on these two over here. And then put the bathrooms up here. So, because they were just empty shelves. You're practicing proposing? That's so cute! Are you going to marry Gail? Oh my god. I love that. You should. Um. Oh dear god. Could you not? Okay, we really have to take that out. Like, I really wish there was a slice of life option to just turn those things off. Because I don't know. I don't know what package they're in. I'm going to have to look and see. Because those I would like to take off. Like, I would love everything else about it. I just hate that. Like, the acting like an asshole thing. And like, I don't know. It just irks me. I mean, I know it's the bar, but, like, you know what sucks, though? People come to the bar, but, like, nobody's coming over here to, like, hang out and do anything in these buildings. Because you can still get to them. Again, because I put a door here. So people can get over here. People can come hang out in the tea shop. People can make tea and stuff. Like, wait, where's my teapot? Oh, it's over here. Oh, wait, we have a coffee pot. Don't I have a teapot? I thought I made a teapot in here. It's supposed to be, like, a... I guess I... Because it's a cafe, I made coffee and I didn't put tea... Oh, wait, this counts as a teapot, doesn't it? Yeah. Brew a pot of um, bee tea. That sounds fun. Let's go brew some bee tea. He's like, did you just walk behind the bar? And he's like, yes, I own half this building. You know? Yeah, so people come over here. More Sims need to come over here. I know it's because it's a bar. so But there's really only three people here. But it's during the day. I just wish more people came to the lots. Or, like, again, you know, the Sims I create instead of, like, the fucking assholes that... And we can sit and have hot pot? Oh, we should actually come over here and fill this. Because it's a cat cafe, and I changed it so that... The... Didn't I? I thought I put it so, like, it's a cat hangout, so cats will come. Because it's, you know... Did I? Yeah. Cat friendly, cat hangout, peace and quiet, you know, for this side of it. But there's no cats here. It's not working. I don't know. Oh, and let's uh, fill that too when you're done. Oh, I like the fact that he just comes and sits. Oh, no, I wanted you to sit down and drink your coffee or your tea. Oh. And then you can, like, sit. I love that you were just going to sit there and drink your tea. That was so cute. But I wanted you to, like, fill the cat food. Oh, I guess you can't fill that one for whatever reason. That's fine. It doesn't really matter. It's so cute. He's just sitting there drinking his tea. I love it. <laughs> he doesn't seem to like it. Tempted by honey from drinking honeybee tea. What's this? Boring movie. Oh, that's from, like, whatever. Okay. Checking yourself out in the mirror. That's fine. Anyone over here? No. Um, oh, there's cats. Yay. We have cats in the bar. But like, whatever. It's cat hangout. 
He doesn't seem to like that tea. None of our real sims are here. Oh, there's Nikolai. We should go meet him. You don't know him. Let's come over here and do a friendly introduction. And now he's like proposing. I just love the fact... It's weird when your sims practice proposing and they're already married, but I think it's... Never mind, I guess Nikolai left. Um, and there's Elphaba sneaking around in the background. No, he's still here. You're just being a dick. Let's see if you end up with a festering grudge. Did you not actually introduce yourself because somebody glitched? He's like, oh, hey. Abel told me about you. Are you new here? He's tense because he loves Yuki, but Yuki hates him. And Yuki is now kind of in a... <gasps> you don't even know Yuki! Yuki has never met Orion? Really? So this is like your first time meeting Orion ever because Yuki never met him? Yuki's met almost everyone. Except for a new character that wasn't set and he's just going to be running around in the background because I just want to see it happen. It'll be kind of funny if he does show up anywhere. Um, and I wasn't playing, like, he, we might, like, he doesn't have a backstory. I just made him for fun, and he's running around in the background because I just want to see it happen. Um, we'll see if he ever shows up. He's the mysterious Ayakashi that lives. I, he might actually live in the mountains. I don't, I don't remember where I put him, but his arms are so glitchy because of, like, whatever about so let's, like, poke around town and see who's running around. Anybody we know? Any of our sims? Aside from Nikolai here? No, I like hunting them down. We can always go on a nature walk or something. We gotta have Yuki do all that stuff. It's kind of easier when we only have, like, one sim in a household to, like, tell their story. Oh, well, look, she's clearly, like, and I got she with those wings. <laughs> it's kind of fun having this, like, custom content that, like people wear for whatever reason. Oh, hey. No, it's just gonna be the rando townies because the game is an asshole. Like, I really wish you could do a setting to be like, oh, hey! Let's go here. Guess who's hiding out? Oh, we were gonna change his alpha too. Hey! You, we can meet our new spellcaster buddy. He looks so unhappy. Speak of the fucking spellcaster devil. MC Command Center. Is it hot out? No, it's pretty cool. Dresser, change outfit. Let's just uh, put you in this one. This is your cash Saturday wear. Let's uh, do a friendly introduction. Be like, oh, hey, you moved into that... New house, uh, yeah, I, you're new here, aren't you? Lachlan's not new here, like, well, not Lachlan, Nikolai, when he introduced himself before, but it was just because he hasn't, let's just say he hasn't talked to him much, like, oh, hey, yeah, we don't talk to him. Get to know, can we, can we try to calm down? Yuki's tense. He's trying to see if, uh... Oh, discuss stressed mood. No, Yuki! 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 Call over. Hello? I was trying to talk to you. I really don't like it when Sims walk away from me. I was talking to you and you just walked away. That's rude. Discuss interests. I was trying to discuss discuss your stressed mood because friendly. Uh, oh, there it is. He's the caregiver. Oh. He seems okay with Yuki. He's like, yeah, Yuki, whatever. Ask him about his day. Maybe Yuki's stressed because fucking Alphaba's like. It's like, it's okay. Kiss hands. Can we maybe not? Like, 
Booty Are you getting sleep. flirty with him? Please don't flirt with him. No, okay, I think it's just trying to be nice. Unga. Bright and day. Here, are. he's. Oh, see, you made him feel better. No, okay, well, he's still tense, but like, he seems to be doing better chatting. Hey, hey. Maybe Yuki's stressed because Nikolai was here. <laughs> he's like, it's okay. Like, it's a nice sunny day. Like, you know, something, something, something. Lots of stuff happening. How beautiful this town is. I mean, seriously. Uh, it's just so pretty. It's so pretty. Okay, you're leaving me, but that's okay. Like, look at this. God, it's so beautiful. Like, I just want to be like, doot, doot, doot. You could walk across it, but you probably can't. Like, I just want to, like, follow where the river goes. Just around the river bend. Like, I know we're supposed to be hanging out, but, like, ugh. I just want to, like, follow where everything goes. Why can't I follow the river? Here we go. We can follow the river now. There's just so much neat shit to see. I can't go over there. But I want to go over there. Why can't I go over there? What's hiding over there? What are you hiding from me, game? What are you hiding from me in those mountains? Oh, look. There's the train. That's what they're hiding. In the mountains, and then the little bridge over here that goes to like the temple. And like this is the long loop around the temple. You can't really go back there. Nothing hidden back there. I want to go in it, but you can't go in it. Pretty trees. The little like graveyard area. I just like looking around. It's so pretty here. And there's always some... Every time I'm like, oh, I never noticed that. I never saw that. What are you doing? You could like go do something. I guess go back there. Um. Anyway. Orion's finally met Yuki. Okay, good. So now maybe when we hang out with Yuki, Orion will call him. But anyway. So that's kind of all we had to share about Orion for the start. Is just introduce you to him. And kind of tell you all the... <gasps> Is that Shadow? Why don't you come over here and give him a friendly introduction? You want to take a dog on a walk. You don't have a dog, though. Oh, well, there's Yuki again. What the hell? He's like, hello. Welcome to the cat cafe. Pet kitty. <gasps> friendly introduction to this kitty. This kitty's so fucking cute. Oh, my God. Get out of here. I hate the idea of having to take Slice of Life out, but... Like, this kitty's so cute. Sayahara. Get to know. He screamed out. Oh, oh, he needs to feed. Let's drink that. I love this kitty. Look at this fucking kitty. Can we adopt this fucking cat? Look at this cat. Why is it so cute? It needs fur, though. It looks like a furless cat, and that's gross. But... It's, a, it's not a stray, though. Well, I mean, who knows? There's, I love this. There's cats fucking everywhere now. He's like, why are there cats here? Because my cat cafe lets them in. Although, the cats keep going to the bar and won't come over here, which is kind of weird. It's kind of annoying that no one will come over here. On their own. Why don't they? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I get it if they can't come in the doors, but they can come in here. So why does no one come over here voluntarily? It's kind of bizarre. Like, I know that they're hanging out at a bar. This is a bar. But, like, Sims will do anything. And even the cats. They won't come over here for food. They won't come over here to lie down. Like, nobody is in this side of the building. Like, what is wrong with the game? Like, it's not that you can't get to it. You can. But no one will come here... Ex Okay, finally, there's a cat here. I'm like, he's the only one that's coming over here. Like, why is no one else coming over here? It's weird. There's food over here. There's, like, books to do. The cat is sitting freaking at the Kotatsu. Oh, Well, that kitty's not adoptable, because that kitty's not a stray. Our favorite cat. Where the hell did she go? I don't know where she is. Is she over here? Is that her? Is that my cat? Is this my cat? This is my cat. 
We can steal this cat. Like. <laughs> what are you doing, tiny eyed kitty? You look like a lion. It's like Simba. This is Simba. It's not Dino, it's Simba. Anyway, um, yeah, so that was uh, all we had for Orion. We'll come back to Orion and learn a little bit more about him in another part. Uh, but for now, we're going to go, and next time we'll be back with Yuki for a little bit. So I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a... Wait, seriously? You're walking away while I'm fucking ending? Okay. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more. <laughs>